What about Bonham's performance? That was not very Cy Young. Bonham will not win the Cy Young. Screw it, boys. We're voting Nick Saylor for Cy Young. Oh, hell no! <laughs> God damn, Kyle. Five to one. Trevor! <laughs> Magic, please. Hit him, please. Oh my god. Kyle! <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to not say the words that Dark had said, but you know what? Yeah, I, I get where he's coming from as a fellow Magic fan. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Who said the Magic would get killed? Oh right, that was me. Okay, okay, fine. ECK, you win this time. You win this time. You have zero right to speak. You miss the playoffs and then the casual dark LMAO. Of course. What else is new? These messages may be a little bit reversed, but deal with it anyway. That's besides the point. We had the same record. Congrats, you will have the spotlight in my vid alongside me and dark. The two, the disappointed and uh, clearly delusional, blindsided by the bottom trade. Magic fans, I don't understand how Sailor doesn't get raked off of. It's unbelievable. Listen, last year, I don't understand how Sailor actually hasn't been getting hit a lot this year. Last year, Brendan Schultz was hitting home runs off of him. I'm not, I'm not joking. But this year, we're having trouble. Like, what is going on? Like, those are meatballs. Come on. He and Bonham's pitching will regress big time next year. He's a robot, bro. Um, blah, 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 blah. He's a robot, bro. What do you want? I mean, yeah. What? Like, wh what? Like, I mean, obviously, that's me who wrote that, and it's kind of dumb to agree with myself, per se, but yeah, no. Like, this whole thing about Sailor being quote unquote a robot is going to, like, the next level of its truth. This guy, he hits like crazy, and he's all of a sudden a really good number two arm. Let's go. Well, that sucks. Let's go Diamondbacks, I guess. Let's go D-backs, yeah. Uh, if I had to choose a team going forward, it would probably be the Atlantic Astros. Magic will be back next year. With the full year of Trevor Bonham, we have a legitimate shot to win the division. Cobras miss. You know what? In the AL, any team next year can actually miss. Like, no, you know what? I'd say the Wildcats would probably be the only playoff lock, and then the other three teams battle for two spots. One of them is going to have to go. Sailor did exactly what I told you he was going to do. This season's been a whirlwind. Yeah, I'm trying to do my a decent Sailor impression, but Sailor, you absolute got Like, you know what? There is nobody in the league more likable, in my opinion, than Nick Sailor. Just the way he talks, and he seems like such a good guy, man. And he's definitely the most memeable. I said the Magic are going to miss for the last three years, and I'm going to say it again. You may say it again. Well, I don't know. It's so up in the air between three teams. It's, it stinks. I, I think at this point it calls for a league expansion. That's what I think. Because each team is filled with talent so much. Tommy is probably elated that Trevor lost and that Sailor won. Yeah, 100%. Magic are overrated. I told all of you that their hitting is garbage. Chadwick leads the team in average and he only hits 213. I, I mean, for base runners, they didn't do too bad. I personally think that the walks in the, the walking aspect of Wiffle Ball really helped them out. But I do agree with this. Hitting-wise, the team needed to be better. Nick Saylor was like Jacob DeGrom out there. You can tell how hot it was that day when you see Kelly standing beside the cats who played. Dude, you know what gets me in this photo? Not the fact that uh, <laughs> Jackson's, Saylor's, and Kyle's uh, jerseys are all completely like dark. While um, while Kelly's is uh, like the normal gray. But just take a look at Saylor's derpy ass eyes in this pic. Like, <laughs> We get this guy at the the weirdest moments, and it's just such good comedy, man. It's hilarious. And now everybody reacts to their own predictions. I said cats win, and the cats won. I said the cats sweep. My prediction was way off. I think the Mark Schultz World Series prediction is going to come true. Yeah, no, that was... Yep. I want... Mm -hmm. Mark Schultz is literally... You know what? What if this is an entire thing that's just... Marshalls is just playing with figurines in front of our eyes. What if what if he's just doing that? What if he just makes up new guys every single year? Started out from his own kids and then now it's just turned into this? 
what if Mark Schultz controls MLW? Let's think about that. All I'm going to say is that Jackson proved me wrong today. He didn't strike out as much, and rather than hit the tons of bombs that he usually hits, but strike out more often, he had a lot of solid hits and was getting on base consistently. Cy Young got raked. So I initially saw this, and I, for a second, thought he said that the Cy Young got... Yeah. He ain't the Cy Young. I bet the voters are going to go with someone else, let's be honest. I I'd say it's going to be like somebody like Norman first. Or maybe somebody just somebody goes nuts and just votes Sailor for some reason. Bonham will not have a good year next year. Stop talking about that because you said the same stuff about Liam Jackson and look where we are now. Don't screw us a second time. Nick Sailor already screwed y'all. <laughs> Who is this Nick Sailor that people keep talking about? Yeah, you're right. Because ever since that, uh, the Wildcat Seagull series, he's been sick nailer to me. If you disagree with this, I will full on make Brendan Jorgensen from the Speedgate series make him go throw one of his fast Speedgate balls right at your. Okay, time for me to ramble on but not really be salty, so basically be quiet for a couple of minutes. Oh no, the inner dark is starting to brew from within. Gus could have legit been something, but Drew wouldn't play him, so Gus was the Brendan Davenport of the AL. I, I, I see nothing but fact. Guys, shut up. Dark is probably typing in caps right now, so I'm just typing in this comment so I can say something. Since if I send a new message, Dark will kill me. Sailor is a beast. Yeah, so ECK, he just started like a writing while Dark was sending his ramp thing in the same sentence <laughs> that's pretty much what that was <laughs> so basically i had very little hope of the magic winning the series the cats hitting is way too good our pitching was subpar all season long and our offense was nothing short of horrendous trevor was not on his game today and neither was chadwick they were both serving up easy to hit pitches to three extremely dangerous hitters plus if kyle is still kyle on the mound and as long as he was pitching, I knew we probably couldn't beat them unless Trev really shined, which he didn't. Our hope was in the next Sailor pitching game, but it turns out he's still unhittable for whatever reason. Like I said, I'm disappointed that my favorite team didn't win. I'm sure anybody would be, but I'm not very surprised. So congrats to the Wildcats, and for the rest of this postseason, go Gators, you're a traitor. Nah, for real, Dark, that, yeah, that makes sense. It's like probably the best analogy of this series. Um... Yeah, again, Sailor all of a sudden is an unhittable pitcher. And Kyle, you know, he's just doing Kyle Schultz things. His bat really woke up today, and he really stepped up. Um, the Wildcats return to the World Series once again. And this shall be the video finale. And that's all, folks. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, thank you very much for watching this one. And I will see you guys all next week when the ALCS is wrapped up. And we will know that if either the Gators... Or the Diamondbacks will be going up against the Western Wildcats in the World Series.